Hello, my name is Kelly Bluen. Welcome to my mini mandala series. In these videos, I show you how to make a cute little mandala using just a few basic tools. So truly all you need is something to write with and something to write on. So I have a micron pen that I'm writing with and I'm drawing on a little five inch by five inch sketchbook. My old sketchbook, which was kind of this off-white color, just got filled. So I just ran to the local craft and hobby store and picked up a five-inch sketchbook. Okay, so a pen and some paper. I'm also using a pencil to do some drawing and shading, and I have a blending tool because I like to shade and blend the um, graphite at the end. I always start with something round, so usually I just use a coin. This one is a penny. I do have an eraser, and then I ripped off a piece of scrap paper because we're gonna do a little bit of measuring today. Okay, I know that seems like a lot, I'm sorry. All right, I'm gonna shove all these aside. And we're gonna start by taking our pen and just tracing around that coin. Whenever I work on mandalas, I like to start with a nice circle in the center. Okay, now I'm gonna pick up my pencil and I'm gonna do a little bit of a grid. So I divide my circle in half across the center and then I divide it in half vertically like that. Then I also do an X or kind of a cross section. And I do that by dividing each of these boxes into two. And I'm looking to see if these are about the same width. If not, I can erase it and adjust it. There we go. Okay, so I have a little piece of scrap paper today because we're going to make one larger outer circle and I want it to be kind of even if possible. So I'm going to set my paper right on top of that circle along that line and I'm going to pick a spot about one, two, three, maybe two and a half pencils wide. So right about here. I'm going to put a little mark on my scrap paper, and then I'm going to put a little mark on the line beside it. And then I'm going to continue around the circle, adding these little hash marks on each of those lines. Okay, again, that's about one, two, about three or maybe two and a half widths of my little pencil. It doesn't matter how large or small you make it, it'll still work. And I'm gonna connect these together with the rounded lines. And I'm doing them nice and light in case I need to adjust them or change them. I can already tell this line is a little bit off. I'm gonna scoot it over a little bit. Okay. So this part is kind of the scary part. We're going to ink in this outer line, this outer circle. So I say it's scary because I know we really, especially in mandala drawing, we want things to be even, we want them to be symmetrical, but we're doing this for fun and for relaxation and we are not worried about perfection. So we're just gonna connect these lines and hope for the best. Look at that, it's a little bit wobbly, and I love it. Okay, 
So if you follow my other YouTube videos, I do something called the Zentangle method of drawing, which is putting patterns together um, in a relaxing sort of way to make pretty little pieces of art just by drawing one line at a time. So I'm gonna use one of our Zentangle patterns. This is called Arukas. I'll write it down here. Arukas. So this is not your typical mandala, but we're going to make it work. Okay, so I'm gonna go to each of these lines and I'm gonna go and draw a line on each side of it. Let me show you. I'm gonna put a line there and a line there, very close together. but on each side of that line. So your pencil line ends up being in the center of that. It takes a lot of concentration to make a straight line. Okay, you can already tell this is different than our typical mandalas. But we're still starting with a circle and we're working outwards. And it's still beautiful. Okay, so once we have these little double lines in there, I'm going to draw another circle around the first one. But when I do that, I'm going to have to lift my pen each time I get to one of these little bars. So I'm going to go like this and pick up my pen and come out the other side. See how I'm doing that? I'm just drawing this little circle. Nice and close and all the way around. After you get those done, we're going to add a line on each side of that first little um, line that we made. So we're gonna put one here and here. And on this one, I'm gonna add one here and on the other side. And I'm just going straight out The slower you go, the more control you will have over your pen. And finish that up. Do you like it? Okay, now we're going to go back and add another circle. So I'm just going to start right here. I'm going to go across, jump, come down, jump. Now, as you can see, some of mine ended up wider and some are more narrow, but again, that's okay. We're doing this for concentration and relaxation. We're not trying to be perfect. Okay, after we get that circle in, we're going to add another set of lines on each side.
And if you're like me, I always count one, two, one, two. Just remember where you started. All right, I'm gonna go back and add the next layer of circle. Nice and slow, curving those as you go. And then adding in those lines that go out I find it so relaxing to make the same lines over and over and over again. Okay, I'm on to my next circle. So if you're like me, some of our spots are getting really narrow. Some are a little bit wider. That's okay, we're just gonna do our best. So I'm gonna add in my next little circle if I've got room. And then I add the lines on each side. Takes a bit of concentration, but your brain teaches your hand quickly. Okay, I'm going to do my next circle. So some of mine, I'm definitely running out of room. So if I start my circle over here, I've got enough space. Right here, I'm out of room. I'm going to do just the tiniest little bit. But if you're out of room, don't worry about it. Just don't add that little circle in there. So I'm gonna to continue to do the same thing, a line on each side. And now what's gonna happen is that some of my lines, when I do this line here, it's just gonna to have to come off the line before it. Does that make sense? I don't have that circle to come off of, so it's just gonna come off of that line. Don't overthink it. I really don't think I have any more room for my circles. So now I'm just gonna go back and add a line to each side. Following that straight movement. And that one, I'm running out of space. That's okay. Mine's getting filled up, so I'm going to do 
both sides of that one. And now I'm doing both sides of this one. Here I don't have any room, so I'm going to skip over to this one. And I'm just going to keep going around until those are all filled. Look how amazing that looks. I love it. Okay, we're not quite done. So if you've caught up to that far, um, let's go ahead and put another thin, narrow circle around the large one. It's always tricky for me to try to make a, a circle around another one. I've got a little fly who keeps landing on my phone. Okay, we put in that layer. All right, now I'm going to go back up to the top where I've got this first little line up here. If your line hasn't extended out that far, go ahead and put a little pencil mark up at the top if you'd like. And we're going to do my favorite, which is bumps. So I'm going to do a little bump like that. But then for the next one, instead of making it go beside it, and you can make it go beside it if you'd like, but I'm gonna go um, not quite to the center, but in a little bit and do the next bump. Then I'm gonna go in a little and do the next bump. And I'm just going to slowly concentrate on trying to make these about the same size. Step back and look at them if you need to, to see if you're getting smaller and smaller or larger and larger. Adjust as needed. Mine are about the size of, a little bit smaller than the cap of my pen. So as I'm drawing them, I'm just trying to Think about that size. Don't speed up. These activities like this, these mandalas, or any type of pattern drawing, these are meant to be relaxing because it forces you to slow down. It forces you to concentrate, and yet your mind can wander a little bit because you're just making the same thing over and over. All right, now I'm getting to the end here. I gotta make sure these sort of line up. Good enough. All right, I'm gonna put my pen down for a few minutes. I'm going to erase this center area. I'm gonna erase my grid lines on the outside. And this looks amazing, but it'll look even cooler when we add some shading, okay? So 
we're going to start by doing something in the center. There's a million things you can draw in the center of this. So if you'd like to write a word or you want to draw a heart or you want to put your initials, you can do anything you want. I'm going to turn mine into just sort of a black and white gem. Um, not for any special reason. I just kind of am in the mood to make a little gemstone. So to do that, I'm going to kind of imagine the light coming in this way. So I'm going to put a little crescent moon right there with my pencil. And then down here, very lightly, I'm just going to draw an oval underneath that crescent moon and close to this edge. So when the light comes into a clear, like roundish gem, it comes in here and it exits out here. And there's other ways to add shading and special things. Ours is going to be very simple. Um, so you can look up other ways to add more details if you'd like, but we're going to do a very quick one today. All right, so now I'm going to take my pencil, my graphite, and I'm going to make pretty dark graphite all the way against that top area there. And then I'm going to make the graphite dark underneath that crescent. I'm going to make my crescent a little bit smaller. And then I just want to kind of even out this shape. So I just make this kind of a curved area here. And then I'm going to put just the slightest dark edge along the inside very light. Okay, now I'm going to pick up my blending tool. If you don't have one of these blending tools, you can use a Q-tip. Um, that works pretty well. Or you can take um, a tissue and just make a little corner that you can use to smudge some of this graphite. All right, so I'm going to just go ahead and soften what I made. Just kind of blending it together. And then I'm going to carefully, I'm going to make little circles and bring this graphite down towards this area, but I don't want to fill up this white area. So I'm just going to start these little circles and see how it's dark and it's getting a little bit lighter. And then I just go a little bit more. So I go from dark to light. And then at the bottom, I do that same thing on that inside edge. You can continue to soften it if you need to. See how it goes from dark to light, and then it gets a little bit dark right down here at the edges again. Okay. And then to break up this reflection, I'm going to just take my blending tool that has some graphite on it, and I'm going to put a little line somewhere on that little crescent moon. You want this to just fade from dark to that white and be very subtle. Okay, there's our center. All right, now I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm just going to, I don't have, you know, perfect eyesight to get every little edge, but I'm just going to add a little bit of graphite up these kind of staircase things. So on the outside edge, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Woo! Oh my goodness, sorry. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit of graphite on that outside edge of that little staircase looking thing just a little bit
behind. Then I take my blending tool and I just push it up and out and away from that pattern. And look at how 3D that looks. I love it. And then with my blending tool, I've got some graphite on there. I'm just going to go ahead and put a tiny bit where these lines cross up here. This is not a fancy way to do it, but let's add some, some shadows. Okay. All right, now I'm going to go on the inside edge of this circle. And by doing a shadow here, it's going to make it look like those lines kind of disappear under this outside edge. And I'm going to make some little circles and push that out. And really what you're trying to get is not have a perfect line. You want that to blend out naturally. Look how cool that looks. it. Okay, the last thing we're going to do is add some graphite to this outer edge. I like when we do this graphite on both sides of that line because it really makes that line stand out as a nice bright white border. What I don't want to do is go into that white area like I just did, so erase that a little bit. Okay, and again, I just take my blending tool and I soften it and pull it outwards. There we go. It is such a unique mandala. I've never quite made one like this, but I love that at the center is that circle, that gem, which makes me think of, of my true self, myself, my spirit is the center. And then these outline areas are the other things in my life and who I am out in the world. And I love how that looks. So hopefully you enjoyed that. We always initial our work, so please do that. And then in these little mandala journals, I always write the date, and then I write one or two sentences about what's going on in my life. I keep it very simple, but I love looking back on these and just seeing what I was thinking about as I was drawing this. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful week. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It helps me and it helps get these videos out to other people. So I appreciate your support and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.